Hey wall, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south, more specifically, Cave City, Kentucky. And I'm here outside of Dinosaur World. Now anyone who knows me knows I'm a big fan of old school fiberglass concrete dinosaur parks, one of my favorite things to stop at. Now this is, Dinosaur World is one of the more newer in that genre. There's actually three of them. There's the one here in Cave City. There's one in Florida and one in Texas. And the dinosaurs are a little different. They're a little more cartoony, a little more uh, colorful, uh, but they have their own charm. So let's check it out. Follow me. Those are weird. The dinosaurs do have kind of a cartoony, glossy look to them, a little different. I kind of like the old rugged looking dinosaurs, but Still pretty cool. This one's looking over his shoulder. See the highway up there. I don't know that there's dinosaurs lurking down here. Check out it's a Trash Canosaurus. That guy's pretty scary. But look at those weird pimples on him. What are those? It's weird. face. He looks looks kind of dopey. And he's got these weird square-headed babies. Whoa. These dinosaurs are so brightly colored. Now here we're talking. Now that's a dinosaur. Beautiful, beautiful little park area they got here, but the rumble of the highway kills the mood just a little. I oh, look up there in the trees. Confused about what these guys are doing? Are they are they digging a hole? Are they are they eating grass? Digging for worms? I don't know. Oh, cool! The mammoth section. Oh, well, look! Here's one I can touch. Hey, mammoth! How's it going? It's like, you can sit down, get a mammoth selfie here. I'm actually sitting on his trunk. Not too comfortable, really. And if you can hear me over the traffic, here is their fictionalized trademark photographosaurus I think he's called he's sitting out here next to the freeway <laughs> sitting out here for pose for perfect photo ops drawing the adoring public in to see 
dinosaur world. I don't know why I have it in my head that all dinosaurs hiss like cats. Now in addition to having dinosaurs, they also have these bizarre parrot monsters. A lot of these dinosaurs have these weird pimply things all over them. Are those historically accurate? Any paleontologists out there please chime in. This looks like a dinosaur from hell. Actually, is that the guy that jumps out at you in the dinosaur ride at uh, Animal Kingdom? That slick dinosaur with its blue skin and its cool pink crown. When I was a kid, this guy was always my favorite because he had a mace on the end of his tail that he used to smash your head in. These weird chicken monsters. It's got like a weird thing on his head. Looks like the guy from Kid and Play almost. And check out the sweet racing stripe on these guys. Of course you have these neon blue demon emus. Alright, what's this guy called? This is the guy I accidentally called a T-Rex at the uh, Dinosaur Park out in California. Part of me, part of me really wishes the dinosaurs were still around, but the other part of me is just kind of glad they're not here stepping on everything, crushing everything. Seriously, that guy looks insane. Look at him. Look at him. Got like a crazy helmet mask. And there he is. The only dinosaur worth caring about. The T-Rex. This panoramic view is actually pretty cool. Check this out. It's just like visiting Jurassic Park without all the horrifying murders. Okay, now we've all seen Jurassic Park and we all know that Velociraptors are very, very badass. But I just, just, just look. That, that's their Velociraptor. Look at, they look ridiculous. They look like big floppy hands, goofy eyes, and they're not even big. I don't know if you can tell, but they're all tiny. How tiny they are. Now here we have history's most disgusting dinosaur, the dreaded Ashtrahosaurus. Ugh. Dare I check out Pterodactyl Cave? Oh, it's just a movie. Okay, now you gotta appreciate their commitment to the theme in this bathroom. This is actually pretty cool. Check out that. Up. Red and blue dinosaur. Now that might, you're changing a baby there, they might look up and get scared at that though. Let's check this out. Ooh. 
Look at this. I like how his teeth are in focus, but the rest of his body's blurry because if a dinosaur is really coming at you, the teeth is all that you'd be able to focus on. And look at this, someone, someone actually even left us a, a chit track. Here's a stick your head in the dino hole photo op. I would do that, but I'm afraid my big fat head might get Winnie the Pooh in there. All right, now we enter the museum. This is where it gets good. All right, here's a crazy raptor dinosaur that's like totally built in different style than the ones out in the park. museum is actually pretty hilarious. It's like the displays are just dinosaur toys. Hey, there's Nessie's tooth. Hey, Nessie. Okay, so I was a bit confused on what the golf ball was, but apparently that's to show the size of the Stegosaurus's brain. But if his brain was that big and that body, that wouldn't even make sense. So I'm guessing it's a full-size Stegosaurus has a brain that small. Alright, I gotta guess which dinosaur is inside. Alright. Uh, I think it's that one. Let's see. Oh, I am awesome. Alright, I appreciate you all joining me in my journey through the past and uh, I definitely would recommend um, coming out here and checking out if you are in the Cave City area like I said not traditional dinosaur park a little different uh, dinosaurs look maybe look a little more cartoony a little bit like giant toys but still very cool and worth checking out and uh, speaking of checking things out please check out my website at www.thecarpetbagger.org and uh, like subscribe share this video if you want to throw me a few dollars on patreon I will send you postcards while I'm on my journeys also I sell t-shirts all the stuff is down below appreciate it